I'm not a eater. No. What are you singing? My own little song. As, as you can see, I'm in a very dark mood. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing wrong. Just dark. Just dark. The world is burning down. The world is burning down. Well, half of it's burning down and the other half's flooding. Yeah, exactly. It's terrible. Biscuit doesn't seem to mind. Yeah, nothing seems to bother her. I'm like, you know, Biscuit, we left Americans behind in Kabul. Really? Nothing? <laughs> and you call yourself an American dog. An American? You know, I might not let you wear your uniform this weekend. <laughs> her fake service dog uniform. <laughs> Stolen Valor. Stolen Valor. No, I, I did rip off the tag that said service dog and training because that's just not true. I mean, it kind of is, but I mean, she's not one of those service dogs that like lunges at, at people. She just lunges at their food. <laughs> so can't blame an old dog for doing that. So what's up with the glasses, Harry? I'm in a dark mood. I told you, Jen. They don't exactly convey dark. Are they blue, blue blockers? <laughs> they are blue blockers. So uh, because I have my notes on my phone, if I wear my regular glasses, I can't see them. And anyway, you, you know my sights. My, do we have to go into my vision issues every it time? It has been a while since I've seen the double pair of glasses. Did you leave that behind? No, well, I don't need the double glasses if I have y'all on the big screen, you know, but if I'm like doing a pod with my uh, laptop right in front of me, then I do need the double glasses. Th is that, a, a, do you understand? Is, yeah, everybody, I, is, it, is everybody clear on the double glasses policy? I got you now. I think regardless, okay. you should still put those blue blockers over the double glasses. <laughs> so there's three yeah. pairs of glasses now? Yes. Yeah, and yeah. you might have to have like a hat that comes up with a crane to hold them <laughs> in place. Kind of like headgear, hairy gear. I mean, I think, I think there's a movie here in the making. <laughs> Maybe a silly comedy. We could call it The Jerk. Do you know that's the whole basis of The Jerk? He invents as a holder for his glasses and he gets rich. I guess that's before your time. No, it's Steve Martin. I know The Jerk. I know, I know. I could do the high harmony too, but I'll spare you. Jen, we should learn how that song in harmony and do it on stage at the summit. As an, <laughs> 10 minutes. That would be I'd amazing. love that. Yeah. As, as an icebreaker. And everybody and then, would look at each other like, wow, they finally have lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could build like a pyramid of beer cans and then have them like pot shot. He hates these cans. That's another obscure reference to that movie. Uh, you know, you know what I do wonder. Speaking of obscure references, I do wonder every time we make a Nacho Libre reference, how many people do you think get it right? <laughs> Almost nobody. Almost nobody. Because like yesterday, randomly, I was thinking like inside the clothes you find the men, and inside the men you find this. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you just said, exactly. Yo, don't pretend like, oh, now you're <laughs> macho. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Go on, read some books. You cannot, you cannot judge these boys because they got the wiggles. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, anyway. I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, well, we we can talk. The distributor survey is interesting, but I, right before I got on here. Um, I saw that, uh, you know, Bump Williams had sent his monthly letter and one slide in it I thought was pretty cool. I'm going to walk you through it, okay? Is anybody listening? Nodding profusely, Harry. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Okay, so what we're comparing is the top 10 seltzers. And we're comparing their seltzer market share compared from last year starting like in January, the trailing 12 months to year to date to, through uh, August. All right. So last year, 
truly, I'm I'm sorry, White Claw had 50% of the market share for seltzers. Year to date, has that gone up or down? Down. Definitely. Very right. By the most, nine points. It's at 41% now. So it's been the big donator of share. And then uh, Truly is still number two. It was at 24 share. Now it's at 28 share. So it's gained. Bud Light Seltzer is still number three. It was at 10 share. Has it gone up or down? Slightly up to flat. I think down. You're both right. It's flat. To, it's flat. flat to down. It's down one point. So it's okay. basically flat, but it's, but the, you know, a point, a, a point is still a point. Um, the number four seltzer, what is it? Corona. Corona. Yeah. It is still number four. It was number four. It was at 4.5% market share. Now, has it gone up or down? Down. You're right. It's gone down by a little over a point. Now it gets interesting. Now it gets exciting. Are y'all ready for some excitement? You might want to wake up for this biscuit. This is going to be exciting stuff. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Then the number five seltzer, drum roll, please. <laughs> Last year, it was Smirnoff Raspberry Rosé. <laughs> it is not the number five seltzer this year. It's barely in the top 10. The number five this year has been replaced by a seltzer that wasn't in the top 10 last year. Can anybody take a guess? It's a major brand. Are we including spirits-based seltzers in here? Okay. No. Malt-based only. I would say busy, but that was in the top 10 last year. Or you're you're close. So Topo Chico. You're you're also close. It's that you and it's Michelob Ultra. Uh, what uh you know about yeah. <laughs> yeah i forgot i always forget about it too right um so uh so it's it's gained quite a bit of share so it's 3.2 percent market share and it had i guess I presume zero share last year right. so okay. uh number six is was busy last year it remains busy this year but it has it uh, maintained lost or gained share awesome. i would say gain definitely Oh yeah, no, it, it, yeah, it gained a full point, one point nine to two point nine percent. That's not really surprising. Then it gets interesting again. Biscuit, wake up! I know we had a little lull there, but now it's exciting again. Last year, Natural Light Seltzer was in the number seven spot with a one point six percent market share. It is no longer in the top ten. What has taken its place? Topo Chico. Boom. Yeah. Topo Chico at 1.6%. So exactly share for share. Then number eight, Bon and Vive. Bon hey, Viv. That ain't there anymore. <laughs> it is not there. The seltzer that started all the madness, the original hard seltzer, which was called Spike Seltzer. Spike Seltzer, the perfect <laughs> name. They had the name. They had the first mover advantage. They had everything going. And they changed the name to Bon and Viv. Well, AB changed the name. Well, they that's what I mean. Ball out of rotation and just sat on it. Yeah, they changed it to Bon and Viv. And then they changed it again to just Bon Viv. Oh. Right. Because bon, originally Bon and Viv were two women, mermaids, or you know. Yeah, two mermaids. And then, then they're like, "Well, no, it means the good life." Bon Viv. That's a that's a called a that's a clever pivot, I'd say. Got to give them props for that. But it was Harry a little not clever enough, Mary. It was too little, too late, Jen. You're <laughs> you're exactly right. You're gonna start making vape cartridges <laughs> out of Bon Viv. <laughs> Oh, I bet there's a run. These cans have probably worth something, uh, or they will be. So Bon Viv had 1.3% market share, not in the top 10 anymore. Its replacement is Mike's Hard Seltzer, lemonade seltzer in the black can uh, with 1.4%. Last year, uh, Constellations Press 
had 0.6%. It's no longer in the top 10. It's been replaced by new flash in the pan kind of seltzer that had a meteoric rise. Okay. And, nice. God, you guys are hot today. 1.2% this year. And I'm sure that's it. And then the uh, last year, Wild Basin was in the top 10 with 0.6% share. And that's been replaced by uh, Smirnoff Raspberry Rosé, which uh, has fallen from the number five spot to the number 10 spot. So that's your, uh, that's your hard seltzer update. Pretty good stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, what's funny about that is two of those brands you mentioned, uh, we got a, we got some pictures in today on some blowout prices happening on McUltra Seltzer and Cacti uh, mm -hmm. in Arizona. McUltra Seltzer going for three dollars a twelve pack, which is pretty outrageous. I mean, that's like what you see Miller High Life going for it. Right. <laughs> that's a hot deal. Are we seeing some hot deals for for Labor Day? Jordan, any hotter than like Memorial or Fourth, or just kind of the same BS? Uh, mostly the same. It doesn't get much hotter than that deal. Yeah, I just mentioned. That's that that same Phoenix store though. They always do kind of hot deals, don't they? Yeah, that's at a Winco. Uh oh, it's not even what I'm thinking of, but oh, fries. Yeah, I was thinking of fries. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and you. We got to keep in mind, we never know if that's just the store doing that or if that is con in conjunction with the brewery. Um, yeah. Sometimes it's just the store wanting to do a loss leader to get folks in. I bet there's also quite a bit of McClub Ultra Seltzer out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, I don't think this will happen to McUltra Seltzer, but the last time we saw deals like that going, <laughs> going down, it was for Cora Seltzer and yes, uh, RIP. Right. When you're done with your pop quiz, Harry, it segues nicely into some of the insights from the distributor survey we did on uh, Seltzer. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I I was done with my pop quiz. Oh. Um, uh, and you know, I got to say, you guys, you guys passed with flying colors, both of you. Nice. Very well. I wouldn't have gotten. I don't think any of those questions correct. So well done. Let's we have a round. Make a seltzer, right? I mean, we definitely know the business. Yes, we do. Think wild bubbles. I'm wild gonna... <laughs> bubbles coming soon to a store near you. So, uh, so yeah, kind of a mixed bag out of our uh, fall distributor survey. What kind of highlights that struck you? Well, today or for tomorrow, yeah, by the time people watch this, they will have read it. Um, yeah. So we asked about seltzers, right? Like, and, and admittedly, I, you know, I guess I phrased the question a little bit strangely because we asked about, you know, both whether they're decelerating and or contributing to business. And basically, I mean, the overall gist is that the, uh, the majority are seeing slowed growth, but still growth, still doing well. Then the second biggest cohort sees still growth. So great. And then shortly after that, dragging trends. And we did hear White Claw is definitely a concern. Um, truly has definitely gained share. A B, a lot of people mentioned the retro pack, but you know, to the point of Mick Ultra, that it sounds like that first variety pack didn't do so well. And I guess the subsequent ones have done better. So there are a lot of overstocked um mm -hmm. distributors, not just A B, but a few A B distributors said they were overstocked with different packages. But I guess, you know, the bottom line is cells are still doing well for distributors overall, but a bunch of them, you know, were like sick of this complexity i mean so many in and out so, so much you know stuff thrown at the wall to see what sticks and it reminds me you know early days of craft in and out skews and it's just i mean it's the cost of this growth i guess but right going. i mean I, I think the thing that struck me was one of the distributors said that most of my most of my salespeople's time now is just spent <laughs> with out of stocks rather than selling Oh yeah, for overall out of stocks, yeah, and for out of stocks, they're across the board. But Constellation is by far the biggest offender. You know. Yeah, and you know because they're growing the fastest, it yeah. makes sense. Um, yeah. Somebody was telling me too, and I wonder how much this has to do with it. I mean, it's obviously there's so many, so many problems in the supply chain right now. But the glass vials in Mexico 
that went toward, um, you know, vaccines makes it, I mean, don't they have glass vials in the U.S. for a vaccine? I don't know if that's a Mexico specific problem, but um, that's what somebody told me. I thought that was interesting. Huh. Well, I mean, yeah, shortage of raw materials that make glass, I would imagine, to put in vials. I, that, yeah, that makes sense. There's just a shortage of everything. Yeah. You know, ex, you know, there's no shortage of sleepy dogs around here. <laughs> but other than that, no shortage of fingerless gloves, Jordan. You love those things. Oh, yes. But I don't, I don't know how I'm going to justify wearing them like, you know, out on the lake this weekend. I might have to take them off. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Les and I are heading to uh, Spokane, Washington this evening for a family oh, friend's a, wedding. Just a quick trip? Yeah, just a quick trip up, uh, <laughs> up north. Yeah. You know, there's no place farther in the United States from San Antonio, Texas, than Spokane, Washington, <laughs> in the continental, yes, I should say. Maybe, you know, maybe up there in Maine, the White Mountains up in Maine, that, that might be harder to get to. Yeah, we leave at 7, and I think we'll get in around 1 o'clock, so that'll be fun. Well, good. Is, is that for a wedding? You, at your age, everything's a wedding, right? Yeah, it's a wedding. Weddings and babies, babies and weddings. I remember that. Well, enjoy the weather. It should be nice. Yeah. I mean, it's beautiful up there. Les has never been up there, so that'll be fun. Oh, it definitely is. It's a, such a nice part of the country. Just, uh, well, Jen, what are you up to? Nothing really. I mean, you know, I just got back from Vermont, so. Um, no, no Frisbee golf tournaments or? No, no Frisbee golf, damn it, this weekend. <laughs> In fact, I have to fly. <laughs> To so sorry. MWA. I know. I have to find, actually, I do have to say. So we went. We went to Vermont because it has like one of the best frisbee golf courses in the yes. country. Yes. No, we we know why you went. You know, <laughs> you're, you're just making it worse. Say, I know, but I will say <laughs> we played the course, and you know, when I say play, you know what I do. Okay, so he plays, and I caddy. I like I tape his shots and stuff, and you can hear me in the background going like, "Dang, that went four." <laughs> And I get him back because it takes like two hours to do the whole thing, right? I'm not going to waste that time. So I'm doing like lunges on the course and like high kicks and all this stuff. And all his little buddies are staring at me like, who did you bring? Oh my gosh. He's doing like duck walks and burpees and, you know. You know, it sounds like, it sounds like you weren't getting enough attention because you weren't a golf smolfer no, golfer that's not what it's about. Hey, and hey, i think you right. just wanted all eyes on you and had to make it about you and you made a spectacle of yourself this is what i'm this is what i'm hearing is You're that just jealous because you don't work out <laughs> is that why i'm jealous because i don't work out how do you know i don't work out look at me <laughs> i'm the man in black i'm the blob in black i'm the blob in black you know but i no. will uh, can i can i say something yeah uh, this pose that i'm in is the most unflattering <laughs> like i have the camera i'm laying back in a chair so my gut sticks out i'm like in a lazy board this it really is i i i need to maybe have a better setup so I you're gonna say this is the most i've worked my abs in days. <laughs> well getting out of the chair i work my abs just to go to the bathroom no y'all don't care yeah nobody, care. nobody cares all right. Well, thanks for coming on. And uh, we got some guests lined up when we get back from holiday. And uh, so we'll announce that. And like we said, we're just going to, we're going to do these more of uh, when we have content rather than just trying to pump one out every day, just for the sake of that. I think that'll be more quality. I think the listeners will appreciate that. Uh, but still, I want to shoot for two to three times a week. And with uh you know with one guest and then uh, us bsing and kind of filter through that way so well hell i want everybody to have a great weekend a safe and prosperous weekend i just want to thank you guys for drinking beer and uh shout out to our to all the merchandisers and, and sales people out there who are stocking the shelves for us appreciate you all right guys take care have a good day have a good weekend have a good life